All right, let's bring this model to life. Since we have all the lines drawn to create the exterior walls, let's use offset and push pool to extrude the exterior walls to see what the living room, dining room, and kitchen look like. Now, we don't need the preview anymore, so I'm just gonna take the model space in SketchUp here and just drag my workspace over. Now, remember orbiting in 3D, it's really easy. Click on the middle mouse so we can orbit around our model. I wanna get back into a standard view and show you also one of the standard views here. The standard views up top here, you have your top view, you have your ISO view, which is a nice quick ISO in whichever direction you're at. And the other ones are your front, back, left, and right, which we'll show a little bit later once we actually have some of the walls built up. Now, let's create those exterior walls. First, take the offset tool, and you wanna offset any area of the face here. Let's click once to start our offset, and make sure you're not offsetting inside, because our measurements are inside. We want this to offset outward. Let's go ahead and offset this six inches. So just type in six, enter. Now you will have areas that overlap when you offset here and here. And it's best to use the eraser and erase those extra edges. Again, we like to keep a clean model. So erasing these is gonna prevent us from having extra geometry that we don't need later on. For the foyer here, just take the line tool, draw from this point here, up in the green axis, and I wanna infer to this edge here to get that point. I'll undo. If you're having a hard time inferring, remember you can press the left arrow key. So I just pressed it, and that locks you in the green axis. Remember, right arrow locks you in the red, left in the green, and up and down lock you in the blue axis. And it's always a good way of inferring, making sure that you're exactly at the right distance. And I'll just close off that loop there. Also take the eraser, erase this edge and this edge. Our next step is the push pull, but we have a couple different ceiling heights within the house. For example, the living room is at 116 inches, the dining room is at 95 and a half inches, and then the kitchen is at 86 and a half inches. So we could extrude all these up at one height and then push them down. But what I like to do is just take the line tool and let's just break the wall in those sections. That way they're cut the first time around. Let's create this break between the old wall here. And there is a break between here and here. So let's take the inferencing and just infer till we see that endpoint. And let's do the same here. Use inferencing. Inferencing is great. It'll save you a lot of time. We have all the lines that we need now. So let's go ahead and take push pull and let's start extruding some of these walls. So the first one is going to be this living room wall, which we'll extrude up. And notice as I'm extruding that the face is actually staying this blue color. This is actually a mistake. It's actually a glitch in SketchUp. I'm just going to undo. What you want when you extrude is you want the outside faces to be this color, this tan or white color. So let me just delete this face. Inside faces should be inside. And there's a glitch that happens sometimes in SketchUp where you extrude a wall and it brings up the inside faces the wrong way. And it's just a common error in SketchUp. It's not very critical if you're just modeling within SketchUp and you end up just applying textures. But if you're using other programs or exporting this into other programs, the direction of that face is very important. To fix it, just take the push pull, and as you're push pulling, or even before you start your push pull, press Option. You can see that down here. It's also a Control on a PC. I can click it off to see the difference. You can see that from push pulling with Option clicked, it actually is creating a new face, so it's forcing SketchUp to move in the direction that we want. So let's push this up 116 inches. Forgot to draw this line here. Let's push up this wall. Again, Option or Control to extrude this up. This wall is at 80 inches. There's a small little soffit area here. Same thing here. Now I could have just double clicked on this to repeat or push pull distance. I could type in 80 or we can just infer to that. 
for the dining room. Let's push this up 95 and a half inches. For here, let's push pull this up. Push the wall up here. And last but not least, the kitchen is at 86 and a half inches. Now let's zoom extends to see our model. So you can see we have our different heights for our living room, our dining room, and then our kitchen. We forgot the foyer here. Let's go ahead and push that up. And you remember with the foyer here that we drew those lines there. So notice as you push pull that, it actually leaves that indent or leaves that line there. And that's going to make it easier for us when we want to push pull or extrude this to make the opening. And this we're going to do in the next chapter.